Hi, I'm Jammo, and I'm gonna make this drone my jam. This is the Sky Viper Journey Pro Video Drone. And if you look below its name on the back, you'll find its features, which are that it can stream and record live high def video. It has a pivoting camera. It can wirelessly download high quality 720p videos. It has hands free position holding, a return to home function, flyaway prevention, and a follow me mode. Oh yeah, and don't forget to download the Sky Viper Video Viewer 2.0 app, which is available for both Apple and Android. It allows you to basically see what the drone sees from the camera and record things. It's, it's basically a must-have if you're going to use this drone. Enough talking. Let's open up this bad boy. There we go. And leave. Yep. Oh, it's all coming together. And let's put it down on the table. drone. Those are all the parts. Wow, that's crazy. Look at that. Scissors. There we go. There we go. So, this is the controller. And it, on the box, I think that it says that it requires three double A's. But, so right there, I don't know if you can see it, that I believe, yes, that is the return home button and, you know, the control stuff. Woo! Full 360 turnaround. That's something that you don't see a lot on these kind of controllers. It has normal or sport stuff. Which I... I see a little something and don't know what it is, so let's open them up. There's this thing right here. So these are for the rotors, kind of protectors to make sure that they don't wham into anything. Oh, these are instructions. A guide, more like. Uh, we're gonna read that off camera. And now, to open up the big boy. The Journey, the Sky Viper himself. What? That right there is his camera. These right there are his propellers. It's pretty cool. So these things have two little pegs down there where you put them on the rotors. After a lot of struggle, I got the first uh, propeller protector on. And I gotta say, it looks pretty dope. Complete. Inside the big box, you'll find a littler box. So, let's have a little look at what's inside. Shall we? Okay, well, it looks like we've got a battery. A USB port with a screwdriver. And some extra propellers. Shove in a battery. Be careful that it's in right. So I would recommend looking at the instructions before. You want to plug that in seemingly like that, or is it like that? There we go. There we go. You should see a couple lights flashing around. I think that those are normal. And. Kabushki. I think that it is incorrect. Now that little thing, push it in, pull it down, and boom. We'll plug them in and charge them up even more. All right, now let's launch this bad boy. Woo! Whoa, Steve. Well, I'm flying it into the sun, so I can't... Stop doing that. It's just the one that's going.
going? What the heck? So this is our second flight. It was actually the best flight that we managed to get with this drone. As you can see, it's actually quite a fast drone. It turns really nice. Its camera quality isn't actually that bad if you really think about how compact it is. And it worked pretty well for a, for a drone of its price. Flight 3, we got it into the air, but as you'll soon see, we didn't actually get it in the air for very long, as it fell from the sky super quickly. Flight 4 was just a flight to see how high we could get it, and it actually performed quite well. It went very high, I'm not exactly sure how high, but very high and that jitteriness that shakiness in the camera those are not heat waves although they look very much like heat waves they're not um that is just the camera although it was a very hot day that day um overall as you can see though it does go very high up in the air like pretty darn high I didn't think that it would actually go this high, if I'm to be honest. I thought that it would run out of range at this point when we were flying it, but it didn't. It's quite a nice drone, actually. I believe that means it's really falling. I believe that means it's really falling. Yes, it does, me. Yes, it does. Unfortunately, it went high up, but it didn't last for long. So it was a pretty good drone overall. We could get it to go really high and really far. It was fast, but as you can see here, it didn't really stay in the air for too long. It didn't say that it was running out of battery. It would just fall out of the sky randomly. And you don't want that to happen, especially when you're paying this price for a drone. Such an expensive drone, if it were to fall onto something that wasn't just grass, it would just get destroyed immediately. It's Overall, we couldn't tell if it was a good drone or not. The reason? We probably just got a faulty one.